Today, human decency has triumphed. A man has been broken so that many may live. I remember Nigel. 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 Oh, God, Nigel. Who is this guy? <laughs> you know, he was an original. He was a loudmouth. Nigel died? Wow, I'm surprised he lasted as long as he did, really. Was he a sociopath? Uh, no, he was a liberal. He was a communist, a self-made man. He was penniless. Come to think of it, I didn't know him very well. I know what you mean. And he had a sort of smashed up quality. <laughs> he became a legend to the working man. I can't tell whether I'm him or he's me. It's very odd. A, a lot of people had it in for. Who was he talking about? Me. 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 I had to listen to a lot of crap, actually. If he was still alive, I'd kill him. He always meant well, no matter how bad it turned out. As another person, he could have been lovely. And you can't rule out that he faked his death, because he faked his life. He lived off the 105 in purgatory. It was a series of small deaths. I think he was dying of loneliness. I think there were probably just way too many people in his life taking up space. He was a willow tree, beautiful but filled with melancholy. He had a heart as big as Texas. That's what I got. He was my father and my friend. What can one person tell about another anyway? We're only human. We all live to disappoint each other. Nigel, I love you, man. I miss you. Thank you, Nigel. Yeah, Nigel. You're not forgotten. And he said, that's the story of my life.